this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to give you an introduction to B vitamins. Now, most people have heard of B vitamins, and I just want to help clarify because there's some confusion out there. B vitamins are actually very essential vitamins that have a significant effect on the functioning of the body as well as the quality of life. One little known fact about B vitamins is that aside from being assimilated into the body through our food, our body can also produce them within the intestinal flora. Now this is why a healthy digestive system is very essential to proper vitamin B levels in the body. The B vitamins are actually key elements in the transformation of nutrients into the form needed to provide energy. So they're very important. They're also essential in keeping our immune system really strong and robust, as well as ensuring the proper balancing of the different hormonal processes in the body. So you can see the B vitamins have a lot of functions. While there are many different B vitamins, such as B1, B6, B12, they are called, along with some other vitamins, the B complex vitamins. You've probably heard that before. And the reason why they're called a complex is because they really do operate precisely as a complex. They require the presence of other B vitamins in order to function properly. And it's important to know that any imbalance, whether it is a surplus or a shortage of a particular B vitamin, will actually affect all the rest in the complex, particularly in the way they are absorbed and metabolized by the body. So this effect underlines the importance of getting B vitamins naturally instead of using supplements. You see, with supplements, there's always the danger of imbalance and upsetting the natural assimilating of the vitamins. And this is due to the fact that one really must take several supplements in order to address all of the B vitamins and in order to get the pharmaceutical effect, in contrast to nutrition building effect where the B vitamins are actually acquired naturally. Now, if you've heard of B vitamin deficiency, you, you probably wonder what exactly causes that. Well, there's several factors that have been known and proven to cause vitamin D deficiency. The common ones are stress, refined sugar, some processed foods, pesticides and other toxins, environmental pollution, digestive problems, alcohol, malnutrition and illness. Okay, these things have shown that these factors are all part of causing vitamin D deficiencies. And the most common two factors actually are processed foods and stress. So really what this means is if you can eliminate processed foods from your diet and develop some good stress management techniques, that can really do a really good job of helping taking you towards having B vitamin balance. Now, B vitamin deficiency, you probably wonder, well, how does that manifest itself? Well, it's actually quite common. And in order to have the true medical diagnosis of vitamin D deficiency, excuse me, vitamin B deficiency, usually you need five or more symptoms. And let me give you the list. There's many different symptoms, but let me give you the list. Mood swings, depression, vague fears, panic attacks, rage, morbid thoughts, forgetfulness, hostility, restlessness, apprehension, chronic worrying and anxiety, mental confusion, menstrual disorders, sores in the mouth, sensitivity to noise, stress intolerance, loss of concentration, sore throat, problems with swallowing, headaches, insomnia, memory loss, impaired intellect, nervousness, lightheadedness or dizziness, digestive problems, insufficient stomach acid production, constipation, diarrhea, stomach pains, craving for sweets, heart palpitations, chest pains, muscle soreness, cold hands and feet, low intolerance for pain, dermatitis, burning or itchy eyes. Okay, now, as you can see, that's a tremendously comprehensive list, and obviously there's many different things that can cause these symptoms. However, if you do not have a specific medical diagnosis, and you have five or more of these symptoms, it could be possible that you are vitamin B deficient, and that could be why these symptoms are there. So if you do have 
some symptoms in this list, I really do encourage you to go see your physician and have this checked out because a chronic vitamin B deficiency really does stress your adrenal glands. And in some cases, you actually have to get treatment to restore your adrenals so they can work properly. So really the summary of all this, I really want to encourage you to eat a healthy diet to create balance with your vitamin B complex. You really want to achieve that. And the healthy vegan diet is one of the best ways to do that, to encourage you and your body to have optimal B vitamins, as well as all the wonderful benefits that a vegan diet can give you. So I hope you found this useful. This is Dr. Jana Bruno wishing you a happy and healthy day. Mm -hmm.